going to talk to you about the idea of a Rockstar developer. There are a lot of really good reasons not to recruit for Rockstars, but recruiters still do. And so I'd like to propose a new open source standard, the Willie Nelson developer. <laughs> If you'd like to increase diversity in technology, quit putting Rockstar developer in your job descriptions. There aren't many Rockstars, a lot of people don't want to be Rockstars, and a lot of people aren't going to see themselves working at your company or filling this position. And when you say Rockstar, people think different things. I'm thinking ACDC and The Clash and uh, The Who, you know, Joan Jett. Um, but that's not what everybody's thinking. Um, other people are thinking <laughs> of people I've never heard perform. Um, people who burn out quickly are very expensive, highly overrated, uh, depend on other people to write all of their songs. And I could go on. So are, when you say rock star developer, are you saying young white male, perhaps? It's excluding people. This, this year, uh, just a few months ago, at PyCon, Jacob Kaplan-Moss, who is um, a security uh, director at Heroku, and he's one of the core contributors to Django, gave a talk about how we need more average developers. And that's actually a category that he sees himself in. So I encourage you to watch that um, YouTube video. And he talked about how even um, very experienced developers like himself are turned off by the idea of a rock star developer. So as I was watching it, well, I have ADD, and that's really good for creative types writers, so I was thinking Django, Django Reinhardt. Willie Nelson likes Django Reinhardt. I love Willie Nelson. And so I went home and I started playing Willie Nelson records and watching YouTube videos like you do. And, and uh, I went ahead and I wrote an article for opensource.com on um, eight ways open source developers could be more like Willie Nelson. <laughs> and um, there was like one person who didn't like Willie Nelson, but he's the only one ever. And so I, I went ahead and I spread out my records on the floor. And um, just so in case anyone got lost, the little rectangles, they're called cassette tapes. And then um, the, the flat squares, they're called albums or LPs or vinyl. And people collect them and they have music on them. So anyway, that's what I was doing at home. And I realized that Willie Nelson had a lot of lessons for developers. He did not start off as a rock star or a country star or a great songwriter. Actually, um, I've loved him for decades, but he, his career started um, in college. And he's played a lot of background roles also. He played um, bass for Ray Price. He's been a disc jockey. He's written songs that other people made famous, including Roy Orbison and Patsy Cline. Crazy. That's a song. Um, that he made famous with Patsy Cline. And he's always learning new skills, too. He's uh, always trying different musical genres. He's recorded reggae. Um, he's played, um, he's performed in television shows. He's performed in movies. He's written books. He does magic tricks. He's a fifth degree black belt, which you might not know. He tells hilarious jokes also. He's also very accessible. He's from Austin, but he travels the world. I've seen him play in an expensive, brand new theater. I've seen him play in a historic theater in Kansas. I saw him play from a folding chair in a rodeo. And I think that developers should be accessible to newbies, advanced people, people who can afford conferences or community events. And of course, you want to use the best tool for the job. He plays a $50 guitar that he's had for decades. Um, but he's also been innovative with the guitar. He fixed a bug in it. And most people play classical guitar with their fingers, and he plays with a pick, which is why it has a hole in it. But he gets the right sound out of it. That's what really matters. And in open source, we did the same thing with innovation. If you don't like it, you fork it, or you um, help patch bugs, or you do a better job of documenting it, or document a workaround. We also want developers who can lead. And leading doesn't always mean that you lead a team or that you lead a project. You can also lead by being an IRC and answering questions or speaking at events or helping to advocate for more diversity in technology and in your, in your group. Willie Nelson also plays very well with others. He um, records on quite a few other people's albums. He will do background vocals. And um, he's recorded with Snoop Dogg, who really isn't known for his country music. Um, <laughs> Um, and so I do agree with Jacob Kaplan-Moss when he said that we need more average developers, but I would still like to see a lot more Willie Nelson developers out there. And if you are not a rock star developer, take heart. It's okay to be average. Um, you don't have to be great all the time. You can have a few hits and a few misses. And one of the things I think everyone should live by that um, Willie Nelson said is he never gave up on country music. 
because he knew he wasn't that bad. And so it's okay to be not that bad. You don't have to be a rock star. You can be not that bad. You can be average. And Willie, if you see this on YouTube, call me and we should hang out. <laughs> Thank you.